Closer. I can't come you, you're any like... closer. I moved that much closer. <laughs> Initial reactions for Kimmy. Welcome back to Spoonsville. Welcome back to Spoonsville. Wait, start again. Welcome back to Spoonsville. I'm going to keep all of this in. <laughs> and this is our initial reaction to the movie Kimmy, by, directed by Steven Soderbergh and starring Zoe Kravitz. Mm -hmm. she, she, what's her name again? Crap, Angela. Angela. She's um, agoraphobic, right? Agoraphobic. And she, she she's a tech worker for some company. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, um, similar to a lot of like Facebook, she even says she worked for Facebook yeah. in the movie, where they have to go through all the nasty stuff and yeah. clear it out, or they have to kind of, you know, they have to sift through it yeah and so yeah. as she's doing that she discovers a crime was committed mm -hmm. and she has evidence of that and she tries to report it to yeah. the company heads but they want to just completely suppress that company heads and okay. yeah and so then she's they basically want to kill her and yeah. that was basically yeah the rest of the movie yeah them trying to to kill her and you yeah. raise the evidence of that yeah um, it was an hour and a half too long. <laughs> it was an hour and a half, so it was a shorter movie. I I think overall, I um, the beginning, I was willing to watch it. I felt like the t the beginning. I felt like it was a bit too drawn out. Yeah. I felt like it took longer to actually start. Yeah. I don't know. I also felt it took longer to f end. <laughs> Definitely the last half hour, forty five minutes, the last half of the movie. I was pretty ready to just be done yeah. with it, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, if you kind of feel negatively towards a movie, it's one of those where I wish I didn't feel that way. I wish yeah. I could enjoy every movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it really, it, yeah, it really went from feeling like a movie to a short three minute student film very quickly for me. I felt like the chase scenes, it felt like the last like the last part where basically she is, she realizes they're after her and she has to try and escape and then there's a, a, a fight at the end. Um, that all felt like it, it was filmed in like two days, like crammed into two days of filming or something. First take, yeah, okay, great. We're, we're done, you know? Yeah. The, the the acting felt rushed, of course. I think it probably was. I'm not even really trying to be too hard. I think it was... So it was done during COVID. I, I, it was, what that I, was the first interesting. Yeah. There were two interesting I, 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 things. I, okay, what were your interesting... Th what were the things you liked about it? Because I feel like it's going to be short. <laughs> I Mine's mean, a, kind of a short list of the things I liked. I, I would say there was one thing that I liked. The thing that piqued my interest mm -hmm. was the fact that it was the, my first COVID movie. Yeah. They had masks and, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So this takes place during COVID times. But yeah. even then it was so irrelevant. They should have yeah. really completely left that out. Yeah. The reason I say that is because um, it, they tried to apply it to her um, agoraphobia mm -hmm. or to show that why it's even more intensified. Mm -hmm. But it, it isn't uh, consistent enough. Even right. when she goes to, gets on the train, no one is wearing a mask right. except her. Yeah. There, there are lots of lots more scenes like that where it yeah. just it's not consistent with COVID times in yeah. that way. So I felt like you should have just left it out. Yeah. yeah. And so the one thing that I I liked in the movie was the scene in the end, mm -hmm. the, towards the end when yeah. the guy uh, Terry, the guy that she's kind of seeing, yeah. uh, goes to her place and she's just killed three guys and she's just called nine one one and yeah. and he's at the door with flowers. Yeah. And. She's like uh, nine one one. I've just there are three dead bodies. Yeah. You know, a guy yeah. has been stabbed, and he doesn't. And she doesn't say flowers. anything. Flowers, yeah. And then she and then hands he hands her the flowers. Yeah. That was that was, that was the one scene that yeah. I liked. A lot of the movie felt like for for me anyway a mm. kind of I don't know an ode to millennial or Gen Z defiance yeah. um, against authority, which kind of irritated me because a lot of the times it's very depicted in a very it, it's depicted in a very condescending way hmm. for example how they talk about how she when she's talking to her therapist and the dentist right it's she's extremely mean and completely disregards the de mm -hmm. the legal constraints right. of the dentist's profession right and then on top of that is so unkind to her therapist mm -hmm. that scene i felt yeah. was you know where she's pretending that she gets cut off and she's you know yeah she pretends that she's still talking and then it was a mistake that right. something bad happened they got disconnected right um i I'm, I'm assuming that that was supposed to be funny because i know i've done that before mm -hmm. I, I just felt with a therapist for example or there are just certain instances where you know that okay this isn't the best thing to do um mm -hmm. but i felt like that was kind of it the them trying to 
draw uh, the younger generation into the movie. Oh, mm-hmm. this is cool. I totally have done that before. Mm-hmm. And But I felt that it was just kind of in poor taste. That's why I think the movie might be much more popular, mm-hmm. regardless, despite the it, fact that yeah. it's not that great because the younger generation might just hang on to those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like, oh, that's funny. And then you'll remember those things and never and not actually look at the movie in its entirety. Um, for me, I thought that was just, you really did need to, yeah, need to do you, that. I think you might be, be might be onto something. I could see that. I, I felt, I, I maybe I'm just trying to be fair to the, like try to be nice to the movie. It felt like it could just be one of those things where, because it was kind of, you know, a pretty low budget movie, but that also gives you some freedom. They don't mind then having protagonists that, are pretty flawed and can be kind of shitty sometimes. So her being rude to people that are trying to help her out just kind of felt like a character flaw to me, um, where it's one of those things where you're supposed to, for me, I was like, okay, it's nice that she's not supposed to be a perfect, super cool, super good looking hacker, you know, young person that's supposed to just have like live in a, in a cool flat and, you know, be really good at hacking and computer stuff. I thought maybe that was kind of try to humanize a little bit, but I could also see where that felt a bit like, oh, of course, yeah, young people never, never pay attention to, older people's advice, they never have any time. You could see it both ways. And the other thing that I felt was uh, the characters, to me, some characters felt kind of irrelevant. For example, the mom. There's yeah. a call with the mom and she's mean to the mom or yeah. the mom as well isn't very nice to her either. Yeah. It just, okay, so the mom and, and Kimmy have a bad relationship, yeah. so what? Yeah. Why did we need to know that she has a mother yeah. who has, I don't know, yeah, because the I mean, apart from just trying to make you, I suppose, feel bad for her and that her dad's dead and her mom, they don't have a great relationship. But then her mom still then calls her at the end, which kind of saves her because then she uh, activates yeah. the Kimmy thing and then turns the lights off. It's one of those movies, I think, just in general, it's unsatisfying. None of the character interactions or relationships or any of that stuff really feel really good, really juicy, really yeah. um, fulfilling. Yeah, the only um, other character that made sense to me and the guy doesn't even show up in the movie is Kimmy's dad. Right. Uh, because he explains why Kimmy's good with the nail gun that he ends up killing the, right. the guys yeah. that try to kill her yeah. with. So yeah. appreciate so, that they at least try to have some explanation for, for certain some things. of these things. You're yeah. not just good at stuff out of nowhere like some action movies. Fair enough. Yeah. But, um, so there's that. I, I even I put as the things that I liked. I'm going to list the things that I liked. I like that it was during COVID times, although, yeah, it was kind of irrelevant, but I at least appreciate that they wanted to, it's a, you know, it's the first time I've seen that. So I, I put that as something I liked. Um, and uh, and then I liked some of the camera movement angles and music choice, although I found with the music, it was creative and risk-taking in that it was kind of, kind of mellow beat music during some of the more intense scenes. Which, yeah, it's a nice change from just the dramatic music we hear all the time in, in, in chase scenes and action movies. But at the same time, it does also take me out of it because, I don't know, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a unique choice. And I, re- I appreciate that, but it didn't work for me. It took me out of the, 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 the supposed to be the, the more intense parts of the movie, which already, because it felt just like some, you know, some, yeah, like, like an amateur movie, just random guys yeah. chasing her and it's just kind of it was it, it it felt like they 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 it was so rushed that it was really hard to be engaged in in in, 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 in all of it yeah, yeah and even the last bit where um where the the bad guys are in her in her her flat they just stand there as she orders siri to shut the i mean not yeah. siri well yeah. kimmy yeah. kimmy to, to shut to turn the lights off yeah. and you know, play loud music, all these orders yeah. <laughs> that yeah. she, you know, she yeah. commands yeah. of Kimmy and they're just standing there the whole yeah. time. I, yeah. that was incredibly unrealistic. Yeah. At least just try and yeah, it's, inject it, some realism in that movie. Yeah. It's, it's one of those where I think sometimes people can be too hard on movies when they say that I would have been smarter than those guys. You know, people like to feel like they'd be smarter than the protagonist yeah. and the villains in the movie, which yeah. Sometimes I'm like, no, you know, I think that's actually realistic. If you're in shock or whatever, you might not be able to do all these things and think clearly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's one of those cases where I was thinking the yeah. same. Where they're just, oh no, I can't see. Oh, and yeah. letting her get away. They just kind of were very passive through the yeah. whole thing. The the one thing else I guess that uh, that was I don't know if I thought it really worked, but they're 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 trying to the cautionary tale of of bringing up how easy it is 
for people to find out anything about you. And then once they, once it's out there, how hard it is to, to get rid of it. And also just the kind of power struggle that there is now it's the new economy almost, or the new thing that's fought over is data is privacy is all these kinds of things and how much, you know, we're told by all these long agreements that we accept, oh yeah, your privacy is safe and all this, but really we all know it's bogus and we all know no one reads these things. And a lot of, there's a lot of these lies that we all kind of tell ourselves that we know, you know, we like to put it out of our minds that we're being tracked 24 seven. Like we all know this at this point that there is very little privacy when it comes to those things. And it's something that we have this dissonance, this kind of dissonance where we just kind of ignore it, but also know it. And we make jokes about it, but we also are all a little low key worried about it, but we also realize how do you go back from it? So that was... But the problem yeah. though is that the movie did not depict it as yeah. deeply as you're talking right. or thoroughly, right. as thoroughly as you're right. talking about right. it. It felt like a lot of these very uh, relevant uh, topics to our times, they try to just pack those, all of those things into the movie, but it wasn't thorough enough to actually fe feel like right. anything that I could look into the movie and feel like, right. oh, this is a reflection piece. Right. It just felt thrown in there yeah. to... You know, I don't know. It felt like they were trying to throw the wool over our eyes. Yeah. And just a oh, crap. Yeah. My computer, <laughs> my laptop. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, that, was, that was going on a lot in the movie. A lot of <laughs> I really started to lose focus on it um, when she tries to break the whole thing wide open. And I don't know. There was just, it felt like also maybe, maybe uh, sometimes it, the see, I get a sense that the people working on it also start to lose <laughs> focus on it or they stop caring the the beginning stages of it seem like yeah this is this is a this is an exciting thing to be working on and then they're just struggling to really wrap it up or i don't know there was a random protest going on yeah. maybe it was against covid restrictions i couldn't really hear what they were chanting even it was just hard to hear a bunch of the dialogue which again kind of feels like sure they didn't take time to overdub which sometimes can be you know done you can you know there's some movies where they have to get the actors to redo the lines because they were filming outside and it was hard to hear. And it was very clearly, that was an overdub, right? You redid the audio for that. But this time I was like, you could use some overdubs because they're just, they're outside and they're just struggling and they're running or whatever. I'm like, what do they say? I don't know. It was just, it, it took me really out of it. Honestly, I think I give it like a three out of 10. Yeah, me too. Because it really was felt just kind of pointless and, very, and I yeah. regret watching it, but it yeah. wasn't the worst movie I've seen, but it was, it yeah. was a disappointment and we were already feeling like the trailer was not super grabby, so. I know that one thing that I also really didn't like um, was the sex scene between Terry and Angela. Mm. It was just very crass, mm. I felt, especially because she's she has mental health issues and later right. she, talks, she talks about how she was assaulted by right. some guy. We don't know if it was a sexual assault. But then she talks about how she was blamed right. for it uh, and not the people that assaulted her. Right. And I just felt like, why would you do that? Why would you, mm. this person ha that has a mental health issue, it wasn't sexy for me. It didn't right. feel very hot. The right. scene just felt like this is someone who's struggling right. with mental health challenges. Mm. Also because there wasn't a lot of fundamental context in terms of the relationship yeah. between uh, her and, and Terry to justify that kind of... Fair enough, yeah. Crass, crass yeah. and less intimate. If it were more yeah. intimate, I would say, okay, maybe he's he understands and knows what's going on with her and it's right. being more tender. Right. With her, I felt that that would have made more sense. So just things like that yeah. just I agree. made no sense yeah. to me. That, that's an example of just a lot of decisions in that movie just didn't work for me yeah. in my mind. So that's just one of those things too where the subjectivity comes in where just a lot of the stuff that was chosen, I was just, it wasn't, wasn't engaging me. It wasn't, affecting me in the way I think it was supposed to. Yeah, yeah. it definitely felt, most likely was rushed. Yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, three out of yeah. 10 ripe tomatoes feels for good. us. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, let us know yeah, yeah, <laughs> what, what you guys, you guys think. think. Yeah. That's I'm, about it. That's, that's really. it, yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Kimmy. Yeah, that, that's, it was just, that's okay. I mean, coming, coming from, from Marry Me, I think it was, uh, I know it's a different movie. We talked last time about how not to compare sticks and stones. Sticks and stones? Fruits and veg. No. Fruits and veg. No, what are, what are the things? Apples and oranges. Oh, yeah. 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 Kimmy. Kimmy. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>